welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am playing with some Davina cosmetic singles that I picked up. I bought nine so that they'd fit in this beautiful palette and these are the ones I've got. I'll, I'll take a picture of them and write out what they are. I was gonna sit down and prepare and talk to you about them but to be honest I'm just like so excited to play with them. So I'm gonna sit down and create a look now and then we can talk about them after. I'm going into this bare face because they're handmade eyeshadows and I'm just worried that there's going to be a little bit of kick up. So I thought easier, I've got my sunscreen on, I've got a little bit of primer, let them sit in while we see where this look takes us today. So I'm going to prime the eyes with the soft ochre and I think I'm going to do a cut crease today. I'm feeling very motivated. Though it is like two in the afternoon so please don't judge me too harsh. Like. <laughs> Mm, I need some lip gloss, so I'm just gonna lather up. This is the Frank body, if you care. I just, I really like it. So I am feeling like green, and then one of the. So I have two of the shadows from the Kaleidoscope, Butterfly Kaleidoscope collection. I have Menalus and Morphine. I missed out on part two. I kind of wish I could have gotten one from each, because they do kind of look the same when put together. So this one is Morphine and then Menalus. They are fairly different, but ultimately when they're on the eye, they're going to look pretty similar. And they shift a lot. I'm pretty excited to put them down. So I'm going to pair one of them, I don't know which one, with a green in the outer, in the air, like the lid. So let's go in with my Sufi Beauty 460 brush. Going to zoom. Can't get it. Going into Zenona. Let's go into OG Mac Two Seventeen. Picking up more of that Zenona shade. Look how beautiful it looks there. Now I couldn't resist. I did swatch these before. I don't take no pictures because you all know I'm hopeless at swatching. I'll give it a try though later. Just for you. <laughs> damn fine in that viewfinder. I love it. So surprisingly for me this brand actually wasn't in this brand wasn't in my brands I want to try uh, video that I made earlier in the year. Actually, let me keep using this brush. I think it just like wasn't really on my radar but as I've just been I don't know enjoying the year seeing where it goes going into Grinch. They've just been popping up on my feed a bit more and Davina was really active on a lot of different people's socials that I follow and my own. They've liked heaps of pictures and they just seem like a really lovely company. I know that our queen, Angel <laughs> should I say that? Angelica Nyquist, loves them. Alright. I don't know if we've gotten any depth from that shade. Which is what I was hoping for. Hmm. Also, this is Grinch, and this is Zenona. I'm kind of surprised I'm not getting some more. All right, changing up the brush again. Let's go in with the Morphe R46. I'm just gonna use it as a bit more of like a packing brush. And yeah, these are kicking up something fierce in the pan. Mm. I don't I don't really like what's going on right now because on the eye it's just looking the same -sies. I actually bought this green for this exact reason to build up some depth on the outer corner um I think though let's just have fun it's nice though and the mats so far are beautiful we're gonna go in with to send her I've cleaned off the same brush, going in with that Morphe, Morphe R46. Mm. Did I just make this very really muddy? I think I did. Alright, so I'm going to go back into that first shade. I really forgot the name of the green. Zenona. I'm going to use that just to sort of blend this out a bit. Well, these, hmm. 
I'm just not having a good time with the outer shades. Mostly my fault. The mattes do seem quite beautiful. It's just the way it's blending out and with the green, and that's completely my fault. Color theory. Hmm. Don't trickle my chair. It's just made it a bit muddy. The green and the purple. So I'm, I've got to go in with a different shade. I'm pulling for a different palette. This is uh, Inglot's. Let me pull that with that one. Yeah, J325. I'm just going to use this black and I'm going to go over what I've already done. I'm going to cancel out that purple. I'm really sorry. I'm glad I had to go with it though. But yeah, this is more what I was hoping for. I'm a bit sad about that Grinch shade, but I am looking forward to using it and seeing what it's like all over the lid. And I'm sure, like, when I look back at this footage, I might be like, damn, bro, that looked way better than you thought. But let me know what you saw, what you thought. Are you, like, yelling at me right now? Bro, how can you be packing so much black over there? So, back in with Zenona. And let's blend these babies out. I think part of my problem is my eye. It just doesn't want to hold shadow. See, just, yeah, this has happened with this. This shade's usually pretty reliable. My eyes just don't like me today. Completely my fault. Well, I don't know how you fix that. I'll blame myself. Anyway, that's cool. We still got plenty more to play with. Plenty more going on. Let's do a little cut crease. So we're going in with the color pop. Nope. No filter concealer in Fair Zero Zero. I always label this one Exit because it, it's it's wide. Why does the blink thing never work for me? Like, am I just not hooded enough to be one of the cool kids? Yes, so. But I do really want that like extra rise today. I'm feeling extra. I think I need to buy Exit. This is one in like the gel pot. This is annoying getting it out of here. You know when you get so excited to play with makeup that like, ugh. I don't know, these shows just really, really make me want to play with them. I will say shipping was super expensive and I'm probably going to put a thing in because I usually do talk about such things. I was just excited to get into this. Um, I'll put it in the description box like how much I paid for shipping and how long it took to get here. I think I might just start doing that because even then if I forget it's there and sometimes those other comments I get on videos like way later on uh, especially because like, like if you're Australian watching my stuff you was curious and that's the stuff I always want to know as well now did I go too high in the set? red stem I mean I think it's fine I'm not, like, just going to the shops. I'm going to post this online. <laughs> totally, totally okay. <laughs> Alright, I am feeling, it's hard to know because they're, they're like all, they kind of both shift a bit different. Um, Let's go with the one I can pronounce. And we're going to chuck Morphine on. So I'm going to pick up Morphine with my little trusty dandy flat, flat shading brush. I don't know. This is from a brand that is. What's it called? Makeup for You? It's just one of those brands I found on AliExpress. I like cheap brushes and expensive brushes. I'm so like intrigued because it looks slightly different from the others. But I've just. I had a thought while I was doing that. Let's go on with the, the very precise, oh, a 350 from Superview, and go into Melon Ass. Did I do the cool thing? Oh yes. And I'm gonna see if my theory is correct. Uh, I have been proven wrong. But I'm gonna put Mel Melon Ass on the other. Oh, I'm wishing I'd used Melon Ass everywhere now. So I'll bring you in quicks. So I put Menelas out here, Morphine. If you're thinking of choosing between one of the two, I would say Menelas for sure. Yeah, I'm wishing I used it. Just it has a like a deeper a deeper base. 
but I mean I could be wrong that might not be what you're into but that's just how I'm feeling what I'm gonna do now is duck off finish me face and then come back for the inner corner business so I shall see you in a minute all right I'm back I have finished my face all the products on my face will be listed down below in the description box as usual look at the fallout so this is sort of exactly what I knew was gonna happen I did have a little bit of fall on, on my face as you probably saw um it, it cleaned up easy so I'm happy well let's go on with the Suva 550 sorry it's just looking a bit big and I can't take my eyes off shy violet does it make a lot of sense with the look I'm doing mm, yes yes it does because I say it does and it's my face So I'm just gonna bring it up and then I kind of just wanna maybe highlight it a bit. This brush is too big for this. Oh, well, okay. No, no, I'm kind of in for it. I'm into it. I like it. I like what we've done. Oh my God, I did it. I'm so happy with myself. Oh. All right, uh, mascara, Lancome Hypnos. Doll eyes? No, the volume up order. All right, I think I'm done. Mm. So this is the problem I do find with multi-chromes, is that they just don't tend to look the best on the eye, but they do look amazing in person. All right, so that is the shadows I got from Davina Cosmetics. Shall we rock through a quick swatch of the ones I picked up? So we've got Tessenda, Melanus, Men yeah, Menelos. So the pink does kind of swatch a bit of crap, which is a rainbow brand. Mm, but it's got it's got promise there. See that promise? Wizgard Zenona. <laughs> you can't even see it. Zenona. That was uh, I'm just a dandelion. Or more for me. That is shy violet. Shack and Grinch. Alright. So yeah, I'm just the worst at swatches, but I'm pretty happy with my little my little grouping of shades. And I love the little palette that they've got with this. I will note it's not like the Inglet one, so you can't put it behind. It doesn't magnetize to the back. But it's beautifully engraved. I love to have, you know something from the brand specifically I do wish I'd waited till the part two kaleidoscope butterfly makeup collection stuff came out uh, part two came out because I probably would have picked up one of the part one and one of part two because I think they both look like they have a bit of similar but men alas definitely I like it a bit more on that I'm looking forward to doing a look with that soon and um, at the moment they've got a all four shades, $36, and I believe Angelica has a code, which is Angesca. Uh, so shipping was expensive. It was $23.95 US. My total order came to $78.55, including shipping, which is pretty good, I think, because all the shadows are like six and five. Oh, they had half price on the pressed pigments when I ordered as well. So they were $2.50. That's, that's why I ordered when I did. Uh, so it was $78.50, including postage, which equals $112.44. Australian on the day of conversions. It's a bit too difficult for me to break it down price by price how much they were It's pretty good. I mean shipping made the cost a lot more together, but I am happy to give them a try I'm so glad that these are in my collection now. I just I love collecting things and adding to my collection shipping uh, On that note, they just arrived here today, and I ordered it's the 7th of May if you're wondering I ordered them on the 26th, so they took like seven business seven business days to get to me which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty stoked. And I'm excited to play with them some more. Uh, let me know if you've tried Davina before. What did you think of the look today? Thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.